This is for all the long boys out there. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching our content, show us some love by liking the video and ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever we drop new content. We appreciate you all. What's going on you guys? My name is Cisco and today we are going to be taking a look at the Nemesis Arms Vanquish Bolt Action Sniper Rifle by Echo One. So Nemesis Arms is a real firearms manufacturer that wanted to improve and diversify the long gun market and their Vanquish series is kind of their answer to it. This is like a mini shy tack What do you think, boss? I mean, now that I look at it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like a mini intervention, yeah. Yeah. As you've already seen, the Vanquish Snipe Rifle is a quick takedown rifle that allows you to assemble or disassemble the gun in seconds into a nice compact package. This entire Snipe Rifle can be broken down besides the scope and fit into this foam-filled hard case, which is included with the gun. Wait, did you say that? Hard case is included with the gun? It is included with the gun. Foam built, oh. cut specifically for this sniper rifle. So uh, no janky cardboard box? No janky cardboard box. So starting off with the externals, the Vanquish sniper rifle does have a full metal body with a very long Picatinny rail section up top to mount a plethora of optics. Going over to the back, it does have a five position stock, which is actually very comfortable. From the looks of it, it does look you know, a little rigid, not too comfortable, but you do get a very good cheek weld. It does use a real AR-15 style pistol grip, and it does include a 360 degree adjustable bipod with adjustable legs. And look at that free float barrel. Look at that, it's just so free. Look at this, look at this, just so free. It's floating there, isn't it, Boaz? Are you gonna C-clamp that or what? I could. You should. I shall. And moving on to the magazine, Boaz, I, I really can't. No, please don't move the case. Yeah, no, I'm gonna move the case. It was perfect. It's it's fine. It's fine. Just real quick. Just real quick. So, moving on to the magazine. This does have a staggering 100 round magazine out of the box. That is insane for a sniper rifle. Normally, they're gonna have roughly like 15 and maybe 30 max. Um, good luck shooting all of these in a match, considering that this is a bolt action sniper rifle. Don't That'd challenge the viewers. They're gonna do it. Do it. I wish. I want to see it. So going into the internals, the bolt system does use an AEG spring. Out of the box, it is gonna be shooting around 500 to 515 FPS, very consistently actually, uh, which is very impressive. Um, I do like the fact that it is using an AEG spring so you aren't worried about looking for a very proprietary sniper rifle spring. The trigger box is actually adjustable for pre-engagement and over travel. So you can fine tune it to make it comfortable for you. So the trigger or the hammer will break uh, exactly where you want it to and then you know it just feels as comfortable uh, to you as possible the inner barrel is actually a vsr 10 spec inner barrel with a vsr 10 hop-up unit or not hop-up unit but the bucking um what's weird about the inner barrel is that it does have uh the bridge at the very end to make it more like a AEG inner barrel but it does use a standard AEG nub so if you want to you can put a flat hop nub in there and like I said before this is a quick takedown gun literally in seconds Boaz timer now seconds guys seconds <laughs> seconds I don't think you're supposed to take out the stock like that we get I did I did. It can be taken down. Seconds. Oh, it was, it was seconds, all right. Yeah. <laughs> What's cool about this gun is that the barrel is a return to zero barrel, meaning if you had already zeroed the optic with the gun completely assembled, if you take the barrel off and put it back on, it will still retain that zero that you once had. The Nemesis Arms Vanquish Bolt Action Sniper Rifle is shooting between 500 and 515 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs. The Nemesis Arms Vanquish Bolt Action Sniper Rifle with the hard case is selling for $300 at airsoftgi.com. So a scope that I would recommend for this gun is going to be the Vism 2.5 to 10 by 50 Evolution Series scope, the mill dot version specifically. Vism does have great quality glass and does have a lifetime warranty and the scope isn't too badly priced at $170. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's go shoot it. Secret the hell out of this. Secret the hell out of this. That was the case, boys. Grab that. All right, you guys, we're here at the range. We are about 250 feet away. We dialed in the hop up and the scope. Um, just as a heads up, you will need an Allen key or hex key to um, adjust the hop up. There's a screw right at the end of the Picatinny rail there. 
And yeah, let's just get into it. Just as a heads up, we are using 0.43 gram BBs. There is a little bit of a very weird wind. It's kind of sporadic uh, today, but it is what it is. Just left uh, over the shoulder. I am compensating them for the wind, but they are getting down there. It does look like I can increase the hop and um, get a little bit further out just to the right again so it does seem very inconsistent when we were testing the hop up there were a few inconsistencies as well we're probably going to do uh, more shooting off camera to see what the consistency is like but that was a hit i believe that is two out of five or two out of i think that's two out of five shots if not boss correct that please on screen That is two out of six. That was super high, actually. Oh, just past the head, right side. Right. Consistent to the right. Maybe we didn't see the scope in enough. Just... That one wanted to fly straight. That one actually hit the wall past that. Honestly, I lost count of how many shots I've already taken. High right again. So, it does seem it's consistently shooting high into the right for me. And that one wanted to fly straight. <laughs> You're killing me, Larry. Spot on. Aiming for the chest now. Headshot. That one did fly a little high. Dip low. Spot on. And that one did just a little low. All right, so uh, let's get back to the table. We're gonna test this off uh, a little bit more off camera and yeah, see how it performs. So if you are on the fence about this gun, comparing it to a JG Bar 10, the accuracy is gonna be about the same, but the range on the Vanquish is so much better. And like I said before, you can easily uh, change out the bucking and inner barrel to increase that accuracy. Or you can have our techs do it and they can either install a flat hop or potentially even R hop the barrel. All right, so Boaz was out on the range with me. And like I said, he was getting uh, more consistent shots than me. So how did you feel about this gun? Uh, well, I'm not much of a sniper bolt gun man myself. I just don't have a lot of patience on the field <laughs> for that. But I do love the platform though. The, the okay. fact that you could easily just take it apart and you know i mean they give you the they give you the case for it yeah that's actually but, a very big bonus yeah i mean i like the case i mean i wouldn't personally for me like i'd store other things in that case yeah. because i like hard cases but yeah. the way that i would see myself use this is maybe on like a really big field like big open field kind of like big one day events like bb wars potentially okay. or 
if I do go out mill swimming, like I can carry like a regular M4, you know, like I can stay as a rifleman, put this on my back, like in like a small like map pack. Okay, pack yeah, pack. definitely. Yeah, and since the magazine capacity is so huge, I don't need to carry extra ammo for that, you know, just load it up already with 100 rounds with heavier weight BBs, yep. put it into a backpack, and when I'm engaging targets, and I realize that I don't have the range for it, yep. I can quickly just have a buddy of mine just take it out, yep. quickly assemble it, and then now I can reach out and touch someone you know, at distance. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's that's definitely the way that I would envision myself using it, uh, just because personally for me, I'm not, again, much of a sniper. Yep. But yeah, like definitely when we're out shooting this, the accuracy and the consistency yeah, left much to be desired, you know? The trigger pull was great. I mean, the, yep. the trigger is up there. Yeah. with a lot of upgraded snipers so i'm glad that the trigger box already you know it, it comes pre-upgraded <laughs> yeah. well so out of the box i did notice that the uh trigger was right on the wall so as soon as you pull the trigger it's going to release the sear and the hammer and fire everything um it was very crisp i did like that um there is supposed to be adjustment for over travel which i would probably fine tune that as well so uh, i'm not pulling the trigger all the way back just in case, uh, maybe if you pull the trigger and then you jerk the gun, maybe it'll affect your, uh, your accuracy a little bit. But I did like the bolt. Um, it is a shorter travel than the VSR-10 or an L96. I don't think you know this, but one of my first guns was actually an L96, and the travel on that is super long. Mm. Uh, it was honestly quite cumbersome and wasn't the most comfortable. This one, I was able to uh, rack back easy. Um, I didn't have to adjust my body um, when laying in the prone position, which was really cool. It, the FPS is shooting right where I would want it to be. Um, 500 FPS is about the field limit for most fields. Uh, there are some fields that do 550. Um, I don't think you need to push it out to that, but um, you know, if you can, if you want to, go for it. Uh, I do agree with you that the FPS, uh, or not the FPS, the consistency for the shots uh, did leave much to be desired for sure. Uh, but I do find that out of the box sniper rifles, it's kind of like like something that you want to do immediately. Just because I, I don't think I've ever seen a sniper rifle um, shoot like, like super accurately out of the box. Um, unless it's like a super like custom upgraded one, right? I mean, unless it's Tokyo Marui because they put that... that Unicorn man, yeah, yeah, true. true. But even then, like with Tokyo Marui, uh, I don't think they would be able to match the range of this one so i'd probably put a 6.01 inner barrel and we, like i said before we were shooting uh, four threes you were getting more consistent shots than i was which was more impressive you're probably just a better shot though and um there was still room to improve and i know there are super heavier weight bbs out there which you know give or take uh if you want to do it or not but four threes is probably the maximum that i would use and the fact that I was able to have more adjustability for it, I could potentially set up the gun to overhop a little bit and increase the range even further. So if you are trying to get into the bolt action sniper rifle market and you are tired of the BSR-10 look and you really don't want to do a semi-automatic DMR, this is the sniper rifle for you. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of every time we upload a new video. We're uploading every Monday and Friday. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.